To begin lettering, select the text tool and click on the area of the workspace where you'd like the text to begin. Type the text you'd like to digitize and click apply. Your software will automatically type in a pre-digitized Arial font. The right pane allows you to customize and choose from the fonts available. The fonts with an orange F to the left of the name are pre-digitized fonts. When you scroll down, you'll see the monogram fonts, which are labeled with the green M icon. The fonts below that appear with a purple P icon and are pre-digitized puff embroidery fonts. Below the puff fonts, you'll find your small lettering fonts. The following fonts are your vintage fonts. Finally, right below your vintage fonts are your applique fonts. You may adjust the density of your text on the Object Properties pane to the right. Before doing so, you'll need to make sure the text is editable. Then, click on the Fill option, which is the second button to the left. The density of the stitches are measured in millimeters and references the distance between the stitches. Therefore, the higher the number in the density field, the less dense your design will appear because the stitches are further apart. To decrease the space between stitches, adjust the density to 0.3 millimeters, which is the standard density for most designs. If you wish to use fonts installed on your computer, select the True Type Fonts checkbox. Then, click on the box above the True Type checkbox to scroll through the font options. Note that the system fonts may not show up as well as pre-digitized fonts on your software and may require some editing. To edit a True Type font, you must convert the font into stitches. To do so, right-click and select Convert To, and then select Manual. Then, right-click again, click Convert To, and select Outlines. Next, click on the Reshape tool and select the portion of the text you wish to edit. When editing letters, you must also make sure to select the right underlay. To do so, click on the Underlay tab and deselect the Edge Travel option. An Edge Travel underlay is an outline underlay, and therefore, if your fabric shifts slightly during the embroidery process, you will lose registration of your design. A centerline underlay or contour underlay is best for avoiding loss of registration. You can use the font editor to the right to edit pre-digitized fonts. You can edit the height by inputting a new number in the height field or by transforming it manually. Under the space option, you can edit the space between one letter and another. Under the line spacing option, you can edit the spacing between two lines if you were to have another line of text. In the sequence menu, you can also change the order that the lettering embroiders in.